Amen. Somebody say, well, it'll be out of season. No, it won't. The Bible said be instant in season and out of season. Out of season. <laughs> well, by the time this is on, it may be spring or summer. That's all right. That's all right. We'll, we'll kill Santa in the summer. That way to save your money in the winter. <laughs> That's right. So if you got little wreaths on your house and on your door, and you're going out Christmas shopping, you are heathen. That's a heathen. Yeah, I'm telling you to your face, you're a heathen. Give me the 10th chapter of Jeremiah. Your Jeremiah. church going heathen. Jeremiah chapter your 10. Your mama is a heathen. Your daddy is a heathen. Sister, if your husband is Christmas shopping for you, you're married to a heathen. Married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Your wife is a heathen. You got little heathen children. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I want you to get this, California. Jeremiah chapter 10, we start at verse 1. Follow me in your Bible. Jeremiah. Follow me in your Bible. Right. Get this. Jeremiah 10 and at verse 1. All right. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto no, you. No, hear the, hear the word that Geno Jennings said. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Don't get you. mad at me, brother and sister heathen. That's right. Don't get mad at me, pastor and bishop heathen. Amen. Who's talking? Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. What did the Lord say? O house of Israel. What? Thus saith the Lord. Oh, the boss is talking. Right. I work for the boss. Thus saith the Lord. The boss is talking here. Learn not the way of the heathen. What? Learn not the way of the heathen. When the Bible said learn not the way of the heathen, obviously for you not to learn it, somebody is teaching it. That's right. That's right. All right, look what the Bible itemized and compare it with what you do on Christmas. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. All right, let's describe what the heathen do. For the customs of the people are vain. For when a thing is vain, is no good. No good. Mm -hmm. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Step one, hold it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Step, one. Step one. See, you ain't got to go cut it. No. They go cut it for you and sell it on a corner. That's right. Or put it on a flatbed truck and all... Oh, they're so happy around Christmas time. Happy. They, uh, listen, True. Christmas is a spell from hell that makes you feel well. Amen. Remember that. Christmas is a spell from hell that make you feel well. That's right. Think of that the next time you go shopping. That's right. Christmas is a spell from hell that make you feel well. Amen. You look at the churches, got all these mangers of someone who's supposed to be Jesus and Mary and Martha and Joseph. That's idolatry. That's right. That's paganism. That's right. They got Christmas plays in the church. Whenever you get a bunch of people to get up who's supposed to pretend like they're Mary and Martha and the moment someone to pretend like they're Jesus, that's blasphemy. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That's blasphemy. Oh, yes. All right. For the customs of the people are vain. All right. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Uh -huh. The work of the hands of the workmen the with workmen the axe. The workmen of the hand of the workmen with the axe. What do they do, son? They deck it with oh, silver wait, wait. and with gold. They deck it with what? They deck it with silver and with gold. Oh, look at the husband and the heathenistic wife. <laughs> heathen husband, heathen wife. They're all in the living room. Guy, he, she calling him, honey, did you pick up the tree? I got it now. <laughs> She, she's so happy, Hercules, Hercules. That's got it, just as happy. And he's bringing the tree all, honey, you want me to help you? Yeah, you can help. Both of the heathens are so happy. So happy. So he, he called in advance, have the decorations out when I get home. I already got them. What do they deck the tree with? They deck it with silver and with gold. I told you, you in the Bible. Amen. You're in the Bible. Your pastor's in here. Oh, yeah. That's why you get the choir up in the false churches singing Christmas carols with robes, red and green robes. Yeah. And then the preacher come out with a red and green suit like a leprechaun. That's right. You're heathen. Heathen. You're not a Christian. You're not like Christ. Oh, no. When did Jesus tell you his birthday was December 25th, you liar? Right. Well, Pastor Genesis' birthday was somewhere, but you can't make up nothing. No. Jesus said to believe on him as the scripture have said. And if the scripture didn't say it, don't make up nothing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But you know when you say something about Jesus, you got to read it. Correct. Jesus said, search the scriptures. That's right. 
for in them you think you have eternal life. That's right. You go out with all this heathenistic shopping, spending all your money, and now you want to look at some fake pre uh, television preacher to touch the screen to get a miracle to pay your debt you got into, you heathen. Heathen. Mm -hmm. What did he say? They deck it with silver <laughs> and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Oh, daddy is down there, and here comes the little heathen son. Daddy, can I help you? Come on, son. Let's be heathens together. <laughs> That's right. Son down there with his plastic hammer feel like he doing something. <laughs> Daddy's rubbing him on his head. That's my boy. Everybody's happy. And then when the tree is set up, the wife and come along. Come on, honey, let's, let's help duck the tree. And oh, <laughs> they both just singing, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They're looking at each other. Have a very shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Heathen! Amen. You bunch of heathens. Heathen. Amen. Amen. You go to anybody's church after you, after you hear this message, you bunch of heathens. That's right. Anytime you ride by a church and see a manger, you're looking at the devil's house. That's right. Anytime you look at a church and they got Christmas plays and celebrate Easter and all this mess, that's the devil's house. Oh, yeah. Because God says, my house yeah. shall be called a house of prayer, prayer. for all people. That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it, thank God, with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers they that it is not. It. And you see, and if you read further down in, in this whole chapter, it also deals with idolatry. That's right. And if you look at Christmas tree, folks Christmas tree. idolize it. Oh, yeah. Oh, when they agree to just plug up the tree in City Hall, everybody's coming together. I don't care if it's 20 below zero. That's true. Everybody out there counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. The tree lit up. Heathens is here. That's right. Yeah. Amen. And besides saying Merry Christmas, they should just say Happy Heathens Day. <laughs> Amen. Say that for now on. Happy Heathens Day. Lord. That's what it is, you bunch of heathens. heathens. Amen. Let us say here. They are upright as the palm tree. They're upright as the palm tree. But speak not. They don't speak. They must needs be born because they cannot go. And be not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. For they cannot do evil. And the Bible says, don't learn this. Learn not the way of the heathen. So you, you take your tree, and you, amen, even that little plastic fake one you got that you take out the box and set it up every year. <laughs> That's right. Little portable tree. Mm -hmm. You That's take right. that portable tree and set it outside on trash day. <laughs> Burn it. That's right. Teach your children what's right. That's right. Stop lying to your children. You know, I've been saying this for years because, folks, one thing about a lie, a lie lasts and keep going even after you're dead. Yes, it will. When I was a child, I used to hear adults tell their children, you got to leave milk and cookies out for Santa hmm. because Santa is tired from his journey. And uh, they leave the milk and cookies out, and then the child come down there that morning, the milk and cookies gone. I want to say to all you children, all of you children that are here, you that are watching around the world, when you came downstairs and the milk and cookie was gone, and when you asked your parents, did Santa eat it? And your parents told you, yes, children, children, Amen. your daddy and your mama are two greedy liars. Either your daddy ate that cookie and your mama drunk that milk, or they both just sat and ate the milk and cookies together. Amen. Am I right, I say? That's right. You liars. Amen. Amen. Parents that love their children won't lie to them. Right. Look at the danger of this teaching of Santa Claus. If you listen at what they say about Santa Claus and have knowledge of the Bible, they make him equal to God. That's right. Because the only one that can be everywhere at the same time is God. God. Amen. The only one that knows everything is God. That's right. But they say, Santa know what you're thinking. That's right. Santa know whether you've been bad or good. Yeah, good. Eh? Amen. Santa's supposed to got your name on the list, checking it once or twice. And mm. Wanna find out who's naughty or nice. nice. Santa's supposed to have this 
factories putting out toys That's right. somewhere in eternity. <laughs> You Lord bunch God. of heathens. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. If all the preachers believe in holiness, they'll speak the same message. Same, that's right. They'll warn their people. Yes, they will. They'll, uh, they will admonish them yeah. not to go get in debt to celebrate paganism. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. What is so ironic, Jews do not believe in Christmas. Yeah. Jews do not celebrate Christmas. Jews do not believe that Jesus was born on the 25th of December because many Jews don't even believe that Jesus even came here yet. But they open up that business oh, yeah. and make money off heathens. That's right. Muslims, they don't celebrate Christmas. No. Muslims don't believe in no Christmas. Mm -hmm. But they open up that business. Because they know heathens are coming. That's right. But you get these so-called imitation Christians. Mm. Glory to God, I want to teach you good. I want to ruin your Christmas. Ruin, ruin, ruin it. it. Humbug to all of it. That's ruin right. it, I say. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. 